Hello, my name is Tomasz Jaszek, and in this video I will talk about a solution to May the 4th challenge powered by Codility. In this challenge we are giving n disks and we would like to put as many of them on two rods. Um, on the left rod there's already uh, one initial uh, disk at the bottom and all the remaining disks we would like to put uh, need to be in decreasing order of size. Uh, on the right rod there is also uh, one initial disk uh, at the bottom and all other disks we would like to put on this rod need to be in increasing order uh, of size. Um, so the question is how many of them we can put on the rods uh, giving these constraints. Let's analyze some simple example with uh, six uh, disks and on the left rod we have already a disk of size 5 and on the right rod we have a disk of size 2. We can analyze disks one by one and determine on which rods they fit and uh, if they fit uh, whether to actually put them in one of the rods. So the disk of size 1 uh, fits on the left rod because it's smaller than initial uh, disk 5 but it does not fit on the right uh, rod because it's not bigger than an initial size 2. So we can only put it on the left rod but we don't want to put it uh, directly on the initial uh, disk uh, because then we cannot put uh, some other disks. For instance the size 4 would also fit uh, in this rod but only if we put it under uh, the disk uh, of size 1. But we can also put it on the uh, right rod. So the next disk is of size 3 and it fits on both rods but in order to uh, place it on the left rod we need to make some room for it. The next disk of size 5 fits only on the right rod. And we have once again a disk of size 3 and we cannot put it on the left rod because we already have uh, a disk of size 3 there. So uh, we are forced to put it on the right rod after making uh, a room for it. And the final disk of size uh, 3 cannot be put anywhere because we already have uh, disks of size 3 on both uh, rods. So after working with this example we can make an observation that in order to put a disk on a rod we need to check two constraints. First, its size must be compatible with the size of the initial uh, disk on the rod so for the left road um, the size of new disk must be smaller than the uh, initial size and for the right one it must be bigger and second uh, there is no disk of the same size already placed in the road to check that the second condition is satisfied we can rather than iterating over subsequent disks uh, we can iterate over the sizes of disks which appear um, in the array A. And then for each size um, count how many uh, disks of this size we have in array A and on how many rods they fit. For instance disks of size 4 um, fit on both rods but we have only one disk of this size so we can only increase answer by one for this size. On the other hand we have three disks of size 3 and they fit on both rods but since we have only two rods we can uh, fit at most two of them so we can increase answer uh, by two for this size. So the algorithm could be as follows. First for each size we will calculate how many disks of this size we have in the array and for that we could use a dictionary or a map which will result in a time complexity of n log n 
or we could use a hash map which would result in linear uh, complexity. And after that, we would analyze each size independently and uh, increase um, the answer based on the number of uh, disk of this size and number of rods uh, this size fits. This step will be clearly in linear time. Okay, so let's uh, move to implementation. Uh, for data structure, uh, for counting uh, the number of disks of each size, I will use uh, default dict uh, and uh, I will just iterate over all uh, elements and uh, for each size I will uh, increase um, the uh, value of this size in the uh, default dict. I need a default dict rather than a standard dictionary because every time I increase for a size which was not contained uh, in the dictionary, uh, I need the dictionary to automatically initialize the, the number to zero. And I need to import this uh, data structure from collections. All right. Uh, and uh, for the second part, uh, I will initialize uh, our answer and I will go through uh, all the sizes uh, in, the, uh, in the dictionary. So I will increase the answer uh, by the minimum of two values. First, the uh, actual number of uh, elements uh, uh, of this size and also by the number of rods uh, in which they fit. Um, so how to check uh, what is the, the number of rods? Um, first of all, I can check whether it fits on the left rod. So the size must be smaller than L. And then I can check whether it fits on the right rod. So the uh, size must be bigger than R. Uh, and I will just... Uh, uh, treat these uh, boolean expressions as integers so they will evaluate either to zero if uh, the size does not fit or to one if the size fits and then i will just add uh, these numbers uh, so here i will just take a minimum uh, with the number of rods this uh, size fits and i will just return uh, the answer all right, so let's run the tests. Uh, compilation successful and uh, example test passed. And when evaluated by Codility, this code will uh, get 100% uh, 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 because the complexity is uh, also uh, good. Uh, the n was uh, within the range of 50,000. So either n log n or linear solution will be fine. 